Welcome, and thank you for joining us as we celebrate the ribbon cutting for the Dennis and Carol Troche Medical Campus. I invite you all to take a moment to appreciate the beauty of these towers. This is truly a historic day in the legacy of Loma Linda University Health. There are no words to adequately express the sincere gratitude and excitement that we feel as we open these doors to the community. These towers will be a landmark and a testament to our commitment to fulfill our mission here at Loma Linda. On a personal note, I was born in the old, old hospital up on the hill, now Nickel Hall. Then, as a medical student in 1967, I helped move patients into the newer old hospital, our iconic Cloverleaf Towers. And now, here we are today, moving into the new hospital. What a remarkable transition in one lifetime from a quiet sanitarium with a college of medical evangelists to a world-renowned academic health center known as Loma Linda University Health. We stand today on the shoulders of many who have made this transition a reality. Indeed, we have nothing to fear for the future except as we forget the remarkable way the Lord has led in our past history. We remain committed to our motto to make man whole as we fulfill our mission of continuing the teaching and healing ministry of Jesus Christ. I would like to invite Lowell Cooper, former chair of the board of trustees of Loma Linda University Health, to bless this ceremony with prayer. As we come to this remarkable moment in our lives and in the history of this institution, I invite you to join in a prayer of thanks to God. Our gracious Father, we gather at this moment today to mark a very special moment. And our first words are exclamations thanks be to God. For we realize that this is more than a journey in human endeavor. We have been blessed by your leadership and the outpouring of your blessing in so many ways. We thank you for the thousands of donors who have collectively expressed generosity that has led to what we see here today. We thank you for each of them. We cannot hide our joy and our pride in this building. And yet we realize that structure alone is not so important. For this institution has been dedicated to service and to the continuing of the healing ministry of Jesus Christ. So as we gather today, we do so in deep gratitude to you for your leadership in our past, in bringing us to this moment. We thank you for those who have embraced the vision of an expanded institution to serve the needs of this community. And we thank you for those who from this place will carry on their calling to ministry and healing of a hurting world. So what more can we say? To God be the glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, amen. And now let's take a journey through some of the significant moments in the history of this development. Welcome to the Loma Linda University Health groundbreaking celebration. Today is one of the most significant days in the history of Loma University Health. Today marks the beginning of a place that will transform people's lives in our community, our region, and around the world.
What an incredible journey it's been. Thank you again for joining us for this momentous occasion. I would now like to introduce Carrie Heinrich, CEO of the Loma Linda University Health Hospitals. Carrie, I would like to publicly thank you for your outstanding leadership on this project. Without your perseverance, I do not believe we would be standing here today. I would also like to extend my gratitude to the many leaders and healthcare teams for your dedication to this project. Without every single person who was asked to commit their time to this effort, we would not be celebrating this building today, which is more than a building, it is a beacon of hope. As I stand here today in front of this magnificent new hospital, I cannot help but reflect on what an incredible journey we've traveled together. Go back with me in your mind to the year 1994, to a moment just five weeks after the Northridge earthquake. While the San Fernando Valley ground still rattled with aftershocks, the state of California's legislature sent a clear message that shook all of us in the healthcare industry. Every hospital building in the state must be capable of providing ongoing service after a major earthquake. Buildings that did not meet these new earthquake resistance standards by a certain date would be shut down. Those standards resulted in nearly half of the hospital buildings in the state facing rebuilding, retrofitting, or closure. Loma Linda University Medical Center was one of those buildings. We carefully examined our options and saw the signs that healthcare's best practices were changing rapidly and in ways that very shortly would surpass the capabilities of our iconic cloverleaf towers. We soon realized the best solution was to build a new acute care hospital, a new state-of-the-art building that would allow us to incorporate the latest technology and best patient-centered approaches to clinical care. Today, we mark the conclusion of 12 years of designing, planning, and construction. Throughout this entire effort, we celebrated accomplishments and we confronted unexpected roadblocks. We met our challenges together and we achieved our success as we trusted in God's guidance every day. In 1905, when Ellen G. White first arrived in Loma Linda, she knew this was the very place, a place that God would use to bring hope and healing to our region and to the world. Over 115 years later, the Dennis and Carol Trosh Medical Campus begins a new chapter in this legacy. This very place will be home to thousands of dedicated physicians, nurses, and clinicians, a place where they will provide world-class clinical care and education. This very place will support the intense efforts of researchers whose discoveries will make an impact around the world. But most of all, this is the very place where patients and families will find their lives touched. Acts of healing soon to be taking place inside these walls will give our patients hope at the most critical and stressful moments of their lives. Today, we dedicate a building, two immense towers of steel, concrete, and glass. And while these towers have forever changed Loma Linda's skyline, May the heart of this medical campus always beat with the commitment of our amazing people who will serve here every day. Now please indulge me as I offer my personal thanks to three people who have played a key role in how we have financed these buildings. Our California State Treasurer, Fiona Ma, and our Chaffa Senior Leadership Team, Frank Moore and Carolyn Abubachara. Through their efforts, we received a significant boost to our funding, $165 million, from Proposition 61 and Proposition 3. Thanks to each of you for your interest in this effort. Without your help, our task would have been far more difficult. Thank you, Carrie. And now it's my privilege to welcome to Loma Linda, our state treasurer, Fiona Ma. Fiona has become a true friend of Loma Linda and ultimately is responsible for our funding through the California Health Facilities Finance Authority that has enabled us to fund our children's hospital. Thank you, Fiona, for being with us. Hi, my name is Fiona Ma, your California State Treasurer. I'm also proud to chair the Chaffa Board, and it is my honor to be here at the ribbon cutting. 
Um, I was here for the groundbreaking and it's amazing to see the progress that has happened. Just a little bit of history. Uh, in 2004, the voters generously passed Proposition 61 to issue $750 million in general obligation bonds to California's children's hospitals. In 2008, uh, voters again passed Proposition 3, uh, an additional $980 million for children's hospitals. And in the future, uh, thanks to voters in 2018, Proposition 4 will add an additional $1.5 billion for our children's hospital systems. And that means potentially Loma Linda could receive an additional $135 million more to expand the children's hospital here in the region. Thank you so much for all of your support and all you do to support our residents here in the Inland Empire. Congratulations, I look forward to continuing our work together. And today is a great day to celebrate uh, the opening of the children's hospital. Thank you, Fiona, for you become a true friend of Loma Linda. And we appreciate your support through the California Health Facilities Finance Authority and what it has meant to this project. To the more than 50,000 people who played some role in bringing us to today, you have my deepest appreciation. While it is impossible to name each person who contributed to this moment, sometimes simple heartfelt words are the best. So to each of you, who has done so much for the future of Loma Linda University Health. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. At this time, I would like to introduce Rochelle Bissell, Senior Vice President of Advancement. Rochelle, I want to thank you for your leadership on this monumental philanthropic campaign, Vision 2020, the campaign for a whole tomorrow. This was the largest fundraising campaign in the history of our institution and in this region. Your efforts and those of your team have earned our gratitude. Thank you. Thank you, Kerry. But really, the recognition goes to the thousands of people who have believed with us in our vision and have given to this very, very special place. The Dennis and Carol Troche Medical Campus is named after the two people who believed with us from the very beginning. Their historic gift of $100 million was the catalyst for future philanthropic success. Thank you, Dennis and Carol, for your unwavering support of Loma Linda University Health. This would not have been possible without you. During Vision 2020, God brought together over 40 thousand people who cared enough to make a difference for our communities. I would also like to thank and acknowledge San Manuel Band of Mission Indians through their incredible and generous gift of $25 million. We will expand the care in our children's hospital with the opening of the new San Manuel Maternity Pavilion. Each person, each gift tells a story. In the past eight years, you have shared your stories with us and we have been deeply touched. This outstanding achievement is the collective result of a broad and caring community. Because of you, this campus is now a reality. We are excited to share with you our state-of-the-art building, incorporating the latest in seismic technology and the medical field's most important advancements. Not only is this one of the heaviest buildings in the world, but a key factor for its resistance to earthquakes are these 126 base isolators that effectively make the hospital float. In the event of a significant earthquake, these isolators will move with the shaking ground, keeping the building and its occupants relatively stable. This unique design makes it the most seismically advanced hospital in the world. Join me as we explore the new Dennis and Carol Troche Medical Campus. Entering through the Galleria, we are greeted by an abundance of natural light and handcrafted wood paneling. This space creates a positive and welcoming environment for each person who visits. 
The nearby prayer chapel exemplifies our commitment to whole person care, offering the opportunity to reconnect with God and a reminder of our foundation in faith. Our new cafeteria will certainly be a popular location, offering convenient access to a wide range of delicious and healthy vegetarian cuisine. The indoor space seats 425 diners with additional seating to enjoy the outdoors. With separate spaces dedicated to adults and children, our expanded emergency department will allow us to meet the ever-growing needs of our community with nearly 70 private rooms. We serve a broad spectrum of patients from routine procedures to urgent life-saving surgeries. In addition to 18 extra-large operating rooms containing the latest technology, we are opening two hybrid operating rooms where traditional surgical techniques merge with advanced imaging technology. We have intentionally placed our pre-op areas, post-op recovery rooms, and surgical suites all on the same floor. This provides each patient with a more peaceful and private environment as they transition seamlessly through the surgery process. Our special partnership with the San Manuel Band and Mission Indians dates back to 1908, when a Loma Linda physician would regularly visit the tribe to provide much needed obstetrical care. Our new hospital San Manuel Maternity Pavilion builds on that history and continues the joint effort of improving health in our region. Every place in this pavilion is designed for the comfort and safety of mothers and babies. Labor and delivery and recovery rooms will each be private suites, providing an intimate setting for family members to stay close to the mother and develop crucial bonds with their new baby. In fact, 100% of our patient rooms are private, single occupancy rooms. This allows our patients to recover undisturbed in a quiet, restful environment and lowers the risk of infections being passed through the hospital. Each room also has dedicated space for family members to stay overnight with their loved one, allowing for stronger family involvement in the healing process. The unique floor plan has a nurse's station located outside each patient room for readily available help when you need it most. Being in the hospital can be a difficult time, especially as a kid. Our children's hospital features several playrooms catering to children of all ages. Through structured play and creative learning, our child life specialists help patients through the healing process. Each floor features family waiting areas with breathtaking views of the valley and San Bernardino Mountains. At the top of the hospital sits our education center, a space for our community to share, learn, and grow together. We serve a quarter of the state of California as a level one trauma center. With numerous helicopter landings every day, our hospital will continue to be a destination for emergency care across the region. Thanks so much for joining me on this tour of the new Dennis and Carol Trosh Medical Campus. It is a beacon of hope and healing, representing Loma Linda University Health's commitment to the healthcare needs of our community and our world in the 21st century. Whole person care remains at the center of all that we do. That will never change. We are honored to provide for our region in this new facility, offering our patients a safe, reassuring environment where their health can be restored. Today marks the start of a new era for Loma Linda University Health. We are now moving into a future that will offer our students, residents, 
faculty, and physicians a state-of-the-art facility in which to train, participate in groundbreaking research, and develop their skills to deliver not just health care, but whole person care. This building itself is beautiful, but it's the people in the building that will bring it to life. It is here where all of our students will put into practice the knowledge that they have learned and apply it using their hands. It is quite remarkable and special. The future healthcare professionals and physicians that learn here will have many opportunities to train in multidisciplinary teams and come to understand that meaningful patient experiences must be at the center of everything we do. It is my hope that the work taking place within these walls will transform the lives of both of our current and future healthcare professionals and the diverse community we serve. The reason I went into women's healthcare is because I wanted to provide the best care for moms and babies. Um, and I love that Loma Linda has put a big emphasis on that by providing a whole floor um, for a maternity ward, um, giving us the best technology to be able to treat all sorts of problems for moms and babies, um, giving them the best outcomes we can. To me, this building is a testimony to the vision that was seen back in 1905, where this very place would provide not only health, but spiritual healing for our community. I see the new hospital as a connection to our past and shows how God continues to lead our institution. With the individual patient rooms, not only will this be a space of more privacy for the patient, but as a student, being in a setting where I can be so focused on just what my head instructor is saying and what the patient is saying is going to be so fulfilling and enriching. Obviously in residency, you want to get the best training possible, and that's limited to what the program has to offer. Working at a brand new state-of-the-art facility is going to provide me with the absolute best training for my knowledge and abilities long term. I love tools and I love gadgets, and this hospital is gonna provide us with some incredible technology to help take safe and effective care of our patients. I cannot wait to be a part of that and give that care to them. There are families and people that aren't even born yet that will go to that hospital 30 years from now, generations from now, and that place is, is going to represent for them the opportunity of a, a healthy life. I'm so excited to have this new children's hospital here in this region because it's just, it's, it's incredible. It's so much bigger. It's brand new. The new hospital is really, really, really big. Really, really, really tall. Miracles happen here and I can't wait for more families to be able to, to receive that. It is my privilege to offer the prayer of dedication. I would ask you to join me as we pray. Our Father and our God, as Osama said so long ago, truly, you have been our dwelling place throughout all generations. From everlasting to everlasting, you are God. You are the one who knows of no surprises. Nothing catches you unprepared. Not COVID, not political trouble, not anything. And so today we place our trust in you. Father, we're about to cut the ribbon on the Dennis and Carol Trosh Medical Campus Hospitals. The Adult Tower, the Children's Tower, being established again, re-established as it were, to provide the best of possible care to our patients from our providers. We long for the day when we will no longer need hospitals like this, but until then, you've given us the privilege of building a world-class facility for world-class care, world-class education, and world-class involvement with our community. As the providers do their work, as the patients come, as the students study, we would pray that your blessing and your presence will attend from this moment forward until Jesus comes. We pray today in the powerful name of our Creator Redeemer, Jesus Christ, amen. Thank you, Pastor Lemon, for that meaningful prayer of dedication. We are delighted to now celebrate the opening of these new towers with the cutting of the ribbon.
there are so many people that I want to thank that have been important and essential to this project. Simply reading a list of names and titles is hardly recognition for all they have given. So I'm going to take a moment to say thank you personally to people who have really given and made a difference in this project. So I'm going to start today with finance and give special recognition to Bank of America. Bank of America has been with us through this project from the beginning and without them, we would not be where we are today. So I want to give special recognition to four people who have made such a difference in this project. Jerry Knorr, Managing Director of Bank of America, Daryl Flannell, Chris Whitley, and Joe Pollock. You have made a tremendous difference in this project. Thank you. Next, I want to recognize our independent financial counselors, Whitley, Karen Lloyd, partner, and her team of Megan Hartman, Tammy Staden, Dave Roberson, and Rich Gianello. Thank you. Our independent consultants in our bond financing transactions was White Oak Healthcare Finance. Thank you, Grant Goodman. Next, U.S. Bank, our bond trustee, John Axt, Vice President. Thank you, John. Essential to our bond financing transaction was Ernst & Young. Thank you, Cheryl Marino, partner, and her team, consisting of Mark Gibson and Richard Bethel. Thank you for all you did as part of this project. Finally, to our bondholders, there are many of you, and I can't call you out by name, but thank you. You stood by us, you believed in us, you made this project possible. Next, our architects and BBJ. They have been such an important part of this project. Their creativity, their focus, their attention to detail. Thank you. So McKinsey Skeen, partner, Rich Dollum, managing partner, Eric Hansen, and Bob Smith. Thank you for the incredible effort you have put into this project. Our project is an amazing piece of engineering and our engineers on this project were Arup. And I wanna give a special thank you to Bill Scranton, principal and his entire team. You have created an amazing building, a building that I believe will stand the test of time. Now I wanna give special recognition to McCarthy Construction. McCarthy has been an amazing partner in this project and has made such a difference. Their focus, their attention to detail, they're standing with us through all that comes with a complicated project like this. All I can do is say thank you. So I wanna recognize key people from McCarthy Construction. Within McCarthy, I wanna call out several key individuals. Of course, the president and chairman of the board, Mike Bolin. And then Mike Myers, Southern California Regional President. Thank you, Mike, pleasure to work with you. Pat Peterson, you've been here year over year. Amazing engagement with this project. Mike Gritters, who's now retired, but an amazing resource in this project. Randy Highland, now retired as well, but amazing engagement with this project. And finally, Eric Hoffman, who has been such an on-site presence helping us through all of the technical issues with construction. Thank you to each one of you. Our independent construction managers in this project was JTEC Construction. They have been with us each step of the way, amazing engagement. Thank you, Jim Lennon and Tom Heider and your entire team. We couldn't have done this without you. Of course, this project from start to finish has been under the jurisdiction of OSHPOD, the state agency with authority to direct, oversee, and approve the construction project itself on behalf of the state of California. So I'll call out the following individuals who have made such a difference in this project. Paul Coleman, Deputy Director at OSHPOD. Chris Tokas, Deputy Director. John Schrank, Regional Compliance Officer and Mike Mars, Compliance Officer. You have engaged with us, you've stood with us, you've made a difference, thank you. We've made a difference on the skyline of the city of Loma Linda. So I wanna take a moment to say thank you to the city of Loma Linda and key leaders. Thank you to our mayor, Phil Duper. 
a city manager, Jarb Taipet, assistant city manager, Conrad Bolowich, and fire marshal, Tom Ingalls. A project of this magnitude has taken enormous effort from our legal team. So I wanna say a special thank you to Elizabeth Eisner, who helps so much with bond financing, Dan McMillan of Jones Day, who helped all through our construction project documents, and our general counsel, Kent Hansen and Chris Johnston. Thank you, Kent, for your engagement and your wisdom throughout this project. We constructed the building, then we have to move into it. So a special thank you to Yellow Brick Consulting who helped choreograph every aspect of our move. Thank you, Kelly Guzman and your entire team. As part of the process to change the building from a construction project to a hospital, there are two people in particular I wanna say thank you to. First, Brenda Bruneau. Bren has been the leader of the entire process for licensure of our new hospital. Bren, you're amazing. You've done so much. Thank you for your commitment to Loma Linda. Next, I wanna say a special thank you to Allison Ong. Allison has been in charge of choreographing each aspect of the transition from the existing Cloverleaf Hospital to the new hospital towers. Allison, your attention to detail is amazing. Thank you. Our Vice President for Construction is Eric Schilt. Eric has been with this project for over a decade. How does one say thank you to Eric for the work he has done each day for over a decade? But Eric, you've been amazing. You have been so engaged. Your attention to detail, your energy, your commitment has been invaluable to this project. Thank you, Eric. You've made a difference. You've helped us live our mission. Loma Linda University Health employs more than 17,000 individuals. So it's impossible to thank each of you by name, but I want to personally say thank you for your engagement, your effort, your commitment to our mission. You've made a difference in this project. From our environmental service employees who clean our rooms so faithfully, to our nurses, our respiratory therapists, each member of our clinical team, thank you. You've made this transition possible. Thank you for your commitment. Thank you for living our mission every day. There are so many leaders on campus that have engaged and have made such a difference in this project. And to each of you, I say thank you. But today I wanna to take a moment to say a special thank you to Dr. Hart. Dr. Hart was present in the move from the hospital on the hill to the iconic Cloverleaf Tower in 1967. And Dr. Hart is present today to lead us through the transition from the iconic Cloverleaf Tower to our new hospitals. So Dr. Hart, thank you for your wisdom, for your guidance, for your steadfast presence through this process. You've made a difference. You've been there. You've guided us. We're incredibly grateful. And on a personal level, I wanna thank you for being there and for providing wisdom each step of the way. Thank you.